Am I the asshole? For not fighting the school to allow my daughter to do cheerleading since the athletic trainer denied her. I am so tired and need an outside opinion. The school's athletic trainer Beth is a very strict woman. She started two years ago and at the time I thought she was just being a bitch and on a power trip. She was not, all she was asking for his basic respect. This became really apparent when the school had a meeting about her and went through every single incident with her. They used the camera footage for a lot of incident parents know that offices recorded and it showed the kids were awful and she was professional. The kids were awful and really ended up have a tantrum when she told them no. Many times the kids calling her names and it really made me reevaluate my opinion on her. One example for reference, one kid needed to do a balance test and take off their shoes. She had a fit and refused to do so. The athletic trainer told her that was fine but without it they can't play. She took off her shoes and called her some lovely names. Not to mention the parents getting on her ass for it. Now my daughter is a sophomore and she needs to do a concussion test in the winter. If she doesn't then she can't cheer. She knew about the whole thing and they had a practice for the thing. She gave everyone a time to be in her office. My daughter got a time and didn't go in at that time. She went in at the end of practice when she was packing up. Beth told her no and I am embarrassed to say it but my daughter had a huge fit about it. Beth stood her ground on it and went home. Now she is on vacation and my daughter cannot cheer until the concussion test is done. That will probably be done in December so she is missing a ton of cheer events due to Thanksgiving fest. My daughter was pissed and wants me to fight the school. I told her no since I saw how she acted I asked for the footage. That is what she gets for being inconsiderate to Beth. My wife wants to fight it and both of them think I am huge jerks. Not the asshole. Your daughter was told a time to go and do the test in Beth's office and she didn't do it. She needs to learn that there are consequences. The belief that everything needs to be fought for that has anything to do with school is ridiculous. Not the asshole, sorry you're the only adult with accountability and ownership skills in your household. Hope you impart this on your daughter before your wife makes it impossible. Not the asshole. Make sure you stand firm because your wife is undermining the entire situation and engendering behavior that does nothing but create an intolerable teen. Not the asshole. Your wife doesn't want to deal with the grief her daughter will cause and as a result your kids would grow up with exactly the wrong impression of the world. Place it squarely on your daughter that being on cheer is a privilege, not a right. Of course not the asshole. At least one of you is being a parent. Good for you. Not the asshole your daughter did this to herself. Not the asshole and I commend you for actually parenting kids in schools are just horrible. Parents have failed to teach basic respect and accountability. It is showing in our schools and is not a good sign for society. Good for you for not enabling your kids bad behavior. Seriously, well done. Absolutely not the asshole, but a great parent. Your wife needs to chill and don't let her have her way. Spare the rod, spoil the child. I'm not saying beat her, but she needs consequences. Not the asshole. Your daughter needs to learn how to behave. Acting like a bitch and then throwing a fit to get her way is not how you get anywhere in life. The sooner she learns that the better off she will be. Not the asshole, there are consequences to our actions, including being on time. Hopefully your daughter learns a lesson about being on time from now on. Not the asshole consequences for my own actions. It's less than a month. It's not like she can't do cheer ever again. Not the asshole good time for her to learn that actions have consequences. Not the asshole. Your daughter needs to understand that there are consequences to her actions and it's honestly just bad parenting to try and shield your kids from that important lesson. Don't be that parent. Your kid screwed up and now is learning a good life lesson. Not the asshole. It sounds like a life lesson for your daughter if you have an appointment to do something with another person, you can't just show up whenever you want. They may not be available. 
Natar nope. Tell her she had a time and couldn't be bothered to show up, this is 100 on her. Not the asshole. Not the asshole this is the time to teach your daughter about accountability. You're being a good parent. Your wife needs to support you on this. Not the asshole. Schools are for children to learn to live with rules. Not the asshole. She tossed her opportunity in the trash by herself. Not the asshole seems like made sure to double check before lashing out like a lot of other parents would who never taught their kids the meaning of the word no. Thank you for teaching your kids. Not the asshole and these children sound absolutely beastly no wonder so many teachers are leaving the profession. It's unacceptable the way they're treated. Nope, not the asshole. Not the asshole. Good parenting. Teaching your daughter that her behavior and actions have consequences. Not the asshole but is there a compromise where your daughter can get a concussion test somewhere else? I would also make your daughter apologize to the coach. Not the asshole. She will learn the consequences of her actions and that the world doesn't revolve around her. Not the asshole and I feel you. Teaching consequences and responsibility to a little queen these days can make you feel like a newt commanding the tide. You seem to already know the answer, your daughter needs to take responsibility for her mistake. Hell no you should not fight the school about it teach your child the consequences of her actions can't just be erased by bitching about it and throwing a fit best thing you can teach your child hands down. Not the asshole. Quite the opposite. There is zero rationale for an early return to athletic participation before clearance from a concussion. That is not the same as controlled exercise during recovery. Info did your daughter watch the footage? If not she should. Not the asshole. Wow I can hardly believe there are still parents out there who see the tape of their kid acting like a jerk and supporting the teacher kudos to you. Too bad your wife is clueless. Defiantly not the asshole here. This is a lesson your daughter needs to learn. Actions, or inactions, have consequences. Why can't your wife fight it if she wants? How is this even a question? One of my kids is heavily involved in activities, and knows that their continued participation is predicated on them holding up their end be it maintaining grades, whatever. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Natural consequences. Not the asshole your daughter and your wife both need to grow up. Not the asshole. And I've never been more glad I only had boys. Not to be sexist but all of my friends with daughters do nothing but talk about what nightmares they are my women friends say this too. My boys were a piece of cake. More info needed. You mentioned your daughter was late, any reason why? Was she held after a class, or it was scheduled during a class she could not get a pass for? Was your daughter having some difficulty reaching her in time?